Lorraine Andrews. There's so much to say about her today, and the day won't be enough for us to explain the service she has brought to this church and community. I can't believe that Jerome, my son said to me um, when he was at his funeral two days ago, he said, Daddy, I sat in this funeral and I was moved. I said, what? He said, I look and see the choir band. He said, the choir band only moved me alone left. And I am concerned because it's like, who should bring her to the rock band? Because Sister Naren was a key player in it. Look at them. Those Sister Naren and Sister Sutton Wally, they were key. Mother Wally, you see them? They were the key backbone of the prayer band with um, Sister William. They believe the same thing. They, 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 they go for it for the same thing. And she, he was saying that to me, and it really grabbed me. And we are praying that God raise up people, raise up people like these people that will stand up. She was a great woman with a great calling. We believe she can come soon. But in the midst of life, there is death. Praise his holy name. We will want to allow the family to know how concerned we are and we know how much they are mourning today. But we trust after this service, it will bring more hope to us all in Jesus' name. Please tell the beginning. So that morning, when this life is over and fly away. Praise God.
um, do the first prayer for us as we do the chorus another time. Oh, oh. Coming down from God out of heaven, 
prepared a sacred bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he sh shall he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new, and he said unto me, Right, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I, I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life free. Verse 7, he that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. This is the end of the second first lesson. We say thanks be to God. Praise the Lord. Oh, we'll be coming in this car, though. we'll be having the second lesson uh, by Michelle Wolf's sister, and then Timon Andrews will come, followed by Cove. Here are Cable, rather, um, Cable Ground 2. Good morning, everyone. Our, our second lesson is taken from 1 Corinthians 15, from verse 15 to the end. Now, this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither does corruption inherit in corruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not, we shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last jump, for for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised in corruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on in corruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on in corruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall we then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sin? O grave, where is thy victory? The sin of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord. Jesus Christ. Be the last. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast and noble, always abounding in the word of the Lord, for as much as ye you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. We are in the proportion of God's good word. I say thanks be to God. Good morning. I give a touch of the fans so warm and tender.
Oh, what a day! What a glad and glorious day! When I arise, when I arise, with my Lord in glory to stay. No sorrow there, no sorrow there.
I can't pull this. You know what came to my spirit? What, what came to my spirit a while ago? The young adult, everyone that you might go down and just touch the front line here. Mommy and daddy will be the best down here. We're going to roll the music again. You just go and touch them and move and come back up. Oh my God, you know what they
give God thanks for this afternoon. But before I sing this song, I just want to share this testimony. One uh, Thursday when I plan to go to work, I said I'm going to stop at Crossing. But while I'm coming here, something inside of me says I'm going to say something. The man I write, I never know. And while I was sitting there, Sister Norman was sit a bench before me. And I just asked her what was the lesson for the day. But I was a little bit late, but I passed the staff in a clock. And while I sit here, the moderator never knew nothing but God knows. And Sister Wallace was sitting over there and she get up from there and come down the back and say, you want me to speak today? I said, thank you, Jesus. I know that I come here to say something. But the moderator never called me. But when I come and I deliver what God has had me to do, Sister Nori said, you know that God led me to tell you if they call me. But she knows they're going to call her. She said, you tell me to speak. So God will have me to speak on that Thursday morning. And I have to give God thanks. This woman is a good woman. He's like a sister to me. We are a sheer in the world of God. And I tell you, Believers, very family, if you are not saved, Savior, this song I'm going to sing is for all of us. Savior, this song I'm going to sing is for all of us. Some folks would rather have horses and land. I say some folks choose treasure and forget about their soul. But these things I will let them hinder me, not from serving my God. For I decided to make Jesus my choice. Oh yes, one more time. Some folks would rather have horses and land. And some folks choose treasure and forget about your soul.
Daddy! 
say farewell to Sister Noreen. I just want to use this opportunity to just reflect on some really good time with her. She has always been this humble person, this humble soul. Nothing can actually get her out. No matter what, you can always go to Sister Noreen and say, no, I have this problem, and she will always be really encourage you. She knows how, she knows practically how to deal with almost every situation. And I can attest to that. She has been a mother, I don't even know what to say, but she has been practically everything to me. And it's really sad to say goodbye to such beautiful soul. So I want to use this opportunity to encourage everyone about Sierra that sometimes we take persons for granted. We, we have our loved ones, we never really appreciate them until they passed away. And when, when you really see that that person is no more, it, it just kills you inside. And I think everybody should learn how to forgive, to love, and to appreciate. Because once that person is gone and you no longer can apologize to them and say, I was wrong for that and I was wrong for this. It will kill you inside. Alright? So, in saying goodbye to Miss Noreen, it is really, really, really sad. I don't, even, I, don't, I don't know what to cry, but it really hurt my heart to say goodbye to Sister Noreen. And just know that I hope that she, she will be in a better place. The pain, it was, it was just unbearable for her. So the Lord decided to take her. As the Bible said, the Lord gave it and the Lord take it. My condolences to my uncle. We all are praying for you to be strong and you'll pass through this. I thank you. As you know, everybody knows. Thank you. 
wish to see more from Faith who have wanted her to experience. But that was the time she was given and she made use of it. So say, not in grief, it's no more what you do, thankfulness that she was a, a such, what are such today. We celebrate the life where it lies in scenario. She was always searching for fresh ideas. She had an approachable attitude, both to the young and the old, a level headed woman who keep her feet firm. Cheerfulness of your humor with friends. Again, again, thought a silent tear, a constant wish that you were here. Sleep in peace, sister Nora. Sleep and take care of us. And it's better than this. Oh, what joy that this. What those trees are shining gold in the land where the love grows. The land is better than this. Oh.
the chain will link again through your life on earth has ended. In heaven we start a new, where we will live for eternity, just as God has promised for you. We will miss you for thoughts, your comforting voice, and those random moments where we will just rejoice. We will miss you, convince us to get ourselves together to be with the Lord. We will promise to cherish all your memories together, and we will carry you on our heart and mind that all we will do. I wish you sweet sleep, our dearest sister, in time has come for you to rest. You have earned your sleep, so you go on in peace, and know that will eternally keep your love and memories in our heart. Just take a minute to go and inside you, and we say a brief prayer. Living parents and families around the world, may the Lord, the love of God, turn around us, grant us strength and courage as we face this fine day, because you are our source of our comfort and strength. Help us that we may not lose focus on you and even draw closer to you. In the precious name of Jesus, let us all say Amen. amen. Sleep in peace, our loving Lord. We miss you forever. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. It is with mixed feelings that I'm standing here today, having known Miss Noreen for practically all my life. She has been like a second mother to me. When I could remember times, if you don't mind, let me speak about this. I remember times when my mother wasn't around, gone to work and had and my father was either out on a church trip or something and both of us were left at home she would be the one to stand in that gap she and others but her especially we, we I remember times when we were down by her house and we play with her her um, son's toys there, there's a, there are so many things that I could say even when I was going to boarding school each time I would move off or I would come home, it's her first. And then when I'm going down the hill, it's her last. And she would say, God go with you. Always. Always say, but I'm here to sing this song on our behalf. Once again, I face Satan. This morning, and I battle him all the day long. But in my weakness, God sent me and forced me.
man from the Noah. A good friend also, a brother of mine, consistent Nori, a pastor, a humble young man. He is the one who will bring the bread for us today. Put your hands together and make it work. Unto the most high God. Lift up holy hands and worship God. Magnify the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me send special greetings to the most high God. To the Holy Spirit, our comforter. To the Marine family. Praise church family. I extend all the condolences coming from the Dias Church of God, Ground of the Truth. We are saddened when we heard about the death of Sister Nori. Good friend, good church sister. Good worship, though. Worship the name of the Lord. I mean, true worship. Bless the name of the Lord. Jesus said to the woman, You worship, but you do not know who you worship. Glory to God. For God requires such person to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Let me tell you something, when you hear a woman like this, say, praise the Lord, you feel it from the bottom of your soul. Yeah. Glory to God. I'm not rejoicing to be a part of the celebration today. Let me just remind you, I am a nutshell preacher. Yeah. So you know how to worry yourself when you're so good. Yeah. Alright? Yeah. Glory to God. I just want to leave a few words of comfort to the Marie family and friends. I cannot say to you understand, smile a while and give your face a rest. Because I know you are grieving. We have sorrow. Because we have lost a loved one. But I just want to remind you and myself that in the Bible days there was this family of Lazarus. Lazarus was sick. Jesus, who was a friend of the family, a comforter, glory to God, to the family. He was not in town when Lazarus was sick. But the family sent messenger to Jesus that he should make haste and come because your friend Lazarus is sick. Oh, worship the name of the Lord. But Jesus did not let him stand in time for a few more days. By the time Jesus reached a tomb. So Jesus, nobody reached it up. Amen, sister, Martha, run and meet him and said, My Lord, if you was here, my brother would not die. Come on, 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 come reason or not, I believe that the community around them, amen, look up to them, amen, and they have lost the loved one, so they come around to mourn. Similar to today, people from different parts, amen, of the high and the property overseas come together, amen, to mourn, to comfort, amen, the Marine family. So they came to, amen, comfort, or to grieve, or to mourn with the family. 
But when Jesus came, Amen, Martha went to her and said, Master, if you was in town, my brother had not died. My brother would not die. Oh, glory to God. But Jesus said to Martha, Amen, your brother shall live again. Oh, worship the name of the Lord. Amen, my sister shall live again. Because the word of God said, Blessed are the dead. want to see your sister again you have a hope, there's a hope that you can see your sister again but you have to accept the comfort of Jesus Christ oh worship the name of the Lord Amen, Martha said to Jesus I know that my brother will rise again on the last day, Amen, Martha was thinking about Amen, the resurrection of the saints but Jesus said I know me to talk, Amen he said, he that is dead, if they believe in me, they shall live. And even though you live, amen, and believe in me, you shall not die. Jesus was referring to eternal life. Amen. Jesus was referring to eternal peace. And his eternal peace can only be found in Jesus Christ, my friend. Oh, worship the name of the Lord. Amen. For this purpose, he came to destroy. Amen. The work of Satan. For this purpose, he was manifested to abolish Satan and bring life and immortality to the light of the gospel. Oh, worship the name of the Lord. He said, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Let me tell you something. Death is a enemy. Amen to the human body. But I say to you, my friend, Amen, Jesus Christ was manifested. Amen to abolish death. Oh, worship the name of the Lord. He declared, I am the resurrection. Amen and the life. Today, there is a hope for you. Amen to see your sister again. But you have to surrender to the Lord. Accept the resurrection message. Oh, worship the name of the Lord. Amen. Brother Daniel saw it. He said, those many are those who in the earth, the dust of the earth. Amen. Shall arise. Glory to God shall be resurrected. Oh, it will be a mixed one. Amen. Some to everlasting life. But some to everlasting contempt. Oh, worship the name of the Lord. If you want to be resurrected. Amen. To be with Jesus Christ. Amen. You have to surrender your life to him. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. You have to give up this word. And it's pleasure. Amen. And accept Jesus Christ. Take on yourself the cross. Jesus declared, if any man will come up to me, let him deny himself. Let him take up his cross and follow me. Amen. I believe that Sister Marion had taken up the cross and he had followed. Amen. Thorns and conflicts, burdens and rough times. But true it all, she learned to trust in Jesus. And today,
in my present state, I'll be going to a priceless eternity. Me tell you the truth, I wasn't a Christian. No used to go to church because there was no church in my community. Amen. But something was inside of me. My mother wasn't a Christian. My father wasn't a Christian. I have no relatives around me who were, Chris who were Christians. But God was speaking to me. The word of God said in heaven declare the glory of God. And the firmament showed his underwork. Even nature was speaking to me that there is, there is some supernatural forces. There must be a creator. Oh, worship the name of the Lord. I used to fret, I used to trouble, I used to worry. When I lie down in the night as a sinner, I said, God, I know if I die now, I'm going to a crisis eternity. But I beg you, God, don't let me die in my sin. And thanks be to God.
she is free from pain and suffering. Though our hearts are broken, I know that Nori is rejoicing in a place that she envisioned her Lord with a head to prepare for her. As one of her favorite Bible verses, which from John 14, verses 1 to 3, stated, Let not your hearts be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. There are many mansions in my father's house. If it were not so, I would have told you, I will go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Those that know Noreen know that she was not worried about her final destination. Therefore, cry if you must, scream if you must, because it's only humanly of us to do so when we suffer a loss. But in the end, let not your hearts be troubled, because Noreen is in her father's house. I have not used Bex as a, as a term for Noreen B not to be here. Instead, I use the word departed. As to us, she's not dead, but she has transitioned this life to another with her savior. A better life filled with joy and happiness, a life of immoral, no immorality. As I stand here, I am marveled at the presence of everyone here, celebrating the life of my sister. I have realized how much she has given and is receiving from her community. Noreen had a very smart mouth up to the last day on earth. On the morning of her death, our mother called her. She answered the phone and mom asked, if she was awake. Which she replied, then if we need a seat, we could have answered the whole. <laughs> this past week has been a very trying time for my family, and I want to extend a very heartfelt thanks to everyone who has reached out to us through messages, phone calls, your support is greatly appreciated. A special thank you to Kibon, Susan, and Gloria, Noreen, friend, and confidence. They have been a toe of strength to her. We thank you for being here. We thank you for being there for her, even when we as a family could not. We are forever grateful. Thank you, Retreat Grown of Truth, Church of God, for accommodating us today and to everyone present. We thank you for all your love and support as we say goodbye to our beloved sister. It is the hardest thing in this world to say goodbye, but there is also a great joy knowing that it is only goodbye for now. An expensive, loving family survives Noreen, husband, Michael, son, Zuri, grandchildren, Zoe and Zaria, parents, George and Rinsa Wolf, brothers, Osborne, Ora, Gregory, Sarah, and Bjorn, sisters, Michelle, Shawnee, Simone, and Tracy. Beloved aunts, uncles, other relatives, and friends. Sleep in peace, O beloved Noreen. Your work on earth has ended to begin your new role with your Savior. We love you wholeheartedly and miss you endlessly. Praise the name of the Lord. Wonderful. We will be praying again for praying for the family. I'm telling you that um, 
Sister Noreen had left a kind of a lamp in her life that will be missing. But we thank God there is still a transfer. And we give God glory. We ask that the members and friends stand by the family in their seats. And we pray for everyone of the family. With your hands bowed. Father, we thank you that your goodness can be in forever. We want to thank the Lord for the contribution that Sister Larry brought to this community. We also thank the Lord that as a church we could invest in her life. And we pray God as we live to celebrate in her home going service and her family from all over is happy to celebrate in this service. We want to thank you for them. Lord, there are many who are still grieving. We pray for the mother and father and the rest of the family that will support them, oh God, and strengthen them. You will, oh God, provide more for them, open more doors for them. Help them to experience, oh God, even though they miss their sister, Lord, your presence to help, your presence to support, and your presence, O oh God, to keep them. You said in your word, let not your heart be troubled. Enable them, Lord, as Paul said, you said to Paul, my grace is sufficient. We are praying for sufficiency in their life, Lord, that you will excel them and strengthen them. Keep upon them power and place that they seem stuck. We are praying, God, that you will help them to move forward. We pray your blessing upon every one of them, home and abroad. May your peace rest upon them. And as we are going, Lord, and they will be leaving this place, help them to leave with the sense of, oh God, knowing you as Christ, and with the sense of going all the way with you. Because, Lord, when we give it all to you, Lord, we give up all to us. So we pray coverage over this family life. In the name of Jesus. And we plead the blood of Jesus Christ over every one of this family. They will be protected, sealed, and signed in the glory of God. And to you be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And this time we'll be doing the song. Sing the one just love. Of Jesus sing this first and this day. So as we sing the, the first song and stand and time, we will be marching out. The ministers will be in front. Yes, I will do it. So as we do this day, Paul Bira will, will come in Zoe and just son, just after this song, um, as Brian Wolf, brother, Cora Wolf, brother, Gabriel Wolf, brother, Sheldon Wolf, brother, and Wolf, brother. After this song, they will come and we will go.
this world, the soul of our deceased sister. We therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Looking for the general resurrection the last day and the life of the world to come through all our Jesus Christ at whose second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world, the earth and the sea shall give up their dead. And the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto the glorious body, according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things for himself. Paul Yeah, we call him the Paul Bearers. Yes, Paul Bearers. We ask to come and work, work men. We are asking the workmen to get busy. As we're about to sing. When the same of church will gather over us, oh, the rules call up yonder, I may bear. When the rules call up yonder, I may bear. When the rules call up yonder, I may bear. When the rules call up yonder, I may bear. When the rules call up yonder, I may bear. When the rules call up yonder, I may bear. When the rules call up yonder, I may bear. When the rules call up yonder, I may bear. When the rules call up yonder, I may bear. When the rules call up yonder, I may bear. When the rules call up yonder, I may bear.
family, Mike and family, Sandorin family, the Wolf family, we want to thank you all for being here and your support. God bless you real good. You stay with us until the finishing of this program. Congratulations and God bless you real good. Just bow your head as we pray. Just a little prayer, please. Just, Father, we give you praise and we thank you for God finishing this task with us. And Lord, it's not even over because people will be living here to their many places of abode. Lord, accidents, some is tired, but we pray we'll keep them up and reach, lead them safely home. We thank you, Lord, and as we are going, go with us as we give you praise. And thank you for the support. Thank you for friends of this community and our God families. And we pray, God, help us to rally behind each other continually and do it, oh God, to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. Sing as you can. And God bless you real good. Good night. Good night.